Well, one of the scariest moments for a parent, a child having a seizure, and some seizures are more common than you may think, a uh, particular type of seizure that the nice doctor here is going to tell us about in a moment are convulsions that children can have during a fever, and these most often affect kids six months to six years of age. Here with more from Children's Hospital, Dr. Heather Edgley. I didn't want to mess up the actual name of the seizure. Febrile. Febrile. Febrile seizure. Okay. What are the, the signs and, and symptoms of this particular kind of seizure. seizure. Well, I mean, as you know, a seizure is when a child appears to be, or an adult appears to be convulsing. Usually they're shaking, trembling, can be moaning, vocalizing in some way, or the, the person might just be staring, be unresponsive, you can't get their attention at all. All of those can be considered seizures. But for children, febrile seizures are more common, um, usually between the age of six months and six years. They're um, short seizures. They can be any of those things that I just described, so they don't always involve shaking. It's definitely just something where they appear to be unconscious. Eyes might be open, right. but they should be breathing throughout it. It lasts from just a few seconds, two or three seconds, up to two or three, up to five, maybe even in rare cases up to 15 minutes, and wow. that's still considered to be a febrile seizure. And the good thing about these is that they're not really true epilepsy. They're not a kind of seizure disorder that requires medication that is gonna occur throughout the child's life. So it's they a very common thing. Can happen. It's associated with fever. So that's what febrile seizure means. Usually yeah. the child has a temperature above 100.4. Um, but frequently the hard thing is that the parent doesn't really know their child is even sick yet. Yeah. They, with that very first fever, they may have a seizure, and then suddenly the parent realizes that a seizure or fever is present. All right, let's go down some of the list of do's and don'ts. And right. we'll put these on the screen for you at home as well. Um, and you want to walk us through these and make sure the yeah. child is in the safe place? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Make sure the child is in a safe place. So um, if they're, you know, in their car seat, for instance, you want to lay them down and get them out. If they're in a crib, make sure that they're lying down. You just want to make sure the child is not going to hurt itself. So you might want to lie them down and put them on their side also so that if they vomit, which sometimes can happen during a seizure, right. the child is not going to suck that uh, material back into their lungs while they're trying to breathe. You want to make sure that your child is breathing. Um, so if they are turning blue, that's something that would be more concerning, and you would want to call 911 if that's occurring. Okay, and um, sometimes you think about the tongue with a seizure. Is that yeah. But in this, it's, you say don't put any objects no, in the mouth, like a spoon or anything. No, please don't put your fingers or a spoon okay. or anything else. You might lose the finger if you do that. Right. The tongue is not going to obstruct the airway. But the key thing is, is that you have the child on their side. Yeah. So that they're, they're not lying on their back with their tongue in the back. So, yeah, don't put anything in their mouth. And that includes medicines. Even though we're talking about a seizure associated with fever, this is not the time to give your child seizure or fever medication to stop the seizure. Right. You want to wait until your child is fully awake because they could aspirate or suck that medicine into their lungs. And, and at that point, do you, would you take them to the ER during the seizure, wait till it's over? Well, it depends. I mean, if your child is known to have febrile seizures, you've been through this before, then you certainly do not need to rush to the emergency room. If this is the first time this has ever occurred, the parents are probably going to be kind of scared. And sure. I would imagine that most of those parents do come to the emergency room, and at minimum, you need to call your doctor to, to ask advice about what to do. If the child has a fever that needs to be diagnosed, meaning what is causing the fever, that would be another reason to seek medical care. But the seizure itself is short-lived. It goes away on its own. It's not dangerous for the child. It just okay. means that there's something going on that needs to be looked into. All right. Hey, great information. Thanks. Yeah, you're Good welcome. Good seeing you. You too.